Hello everyone, welcome to Roshchem summary videos. In this video, I'm summarizing the lesson reactions of organic compounds. So in VCE, we are covering five main types of uh, organic reactions, which are substitution, addition, oxidation, condensation, and hydrolysis. So in this video, I will be going through each of the reaction types separately. First, the substitution. So substitution is when an atom is replaced by another atom. So substitution can be for alkanes and also haloalkanes can undergo substitution. First, we'll look at the alkane substitution. So in alkane substitution, we react alkanes with halogens like Cl2s, Br2s. So we'll look at the reaction of methane with halogens. So in this is CH4. So when it's reacting with Cl2, what will happen? The hydrogen from the methane will get replaced by a Cl. So making CH3Cl and HCl. So what happens again? The hydrogen from methane will get replaced by a Cl atom. So the product is then CH3Cl and the byproduct is HCl. So we need UV light for this reaction. The UV light is helping to break the Cl-Cl bond. Okay, now we will look at the substitution of haloalkanes. So in haloalkane substitution, we can get uh, alcohols. So in, the, in, in these reactions, the Cl will get replaced by OH. So we can react the CH3Cl, chloromethane, with things like uh, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide. So what happens is then the Cl atom in haloalkane getting replaced by the OH. So then you get CH3OH and Na and Cl will join to make NaCl. We can do the same substitution using water in the presence of a catalyst. So remember in that case, break down first to break down the water into H plus and OH minus. Okay, so now you can replace the Cl minus by OH minus. So what, what is the product is then CH3OH and the byproduct is HCl. So we so what happens is the H plus, the H plus from water is reacting with Cl minus to give the HCl. So these two reactions can le can give uh, alcohols. So if you have, a, for example, if you have a haloalkane with two carbons, so like chloroethane, when you add sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, or water in the presence of a catalyst, we can get ethanol. Right. Also, haloalkanes uh, undergo substitutions with uh, ammonia. Okay, so in this reaction, what, re what is replacing is the Cl by NH2. So we have to first break down ammonia into H plus and NH2 minus. Okay, now I can replace the Cl minus with NH2 minus. So my product is then CH3NH2. So we are the NH2 replace the Cl and the other product is HCl. So in these type of reactions, I can get amines. So if you have a haloalkane with two carbons like chloroethane, I can get aminoethane or ethanamine. Okay, we will now look at the next uh, type of reactions. The second type is addition. So in addition reactions, what happens is you break the double bond, first break the double bond, then after that you can add atoms or group of atoms to the carbons where you had the double bond. So in this reaction, the double bond is between the second and the third carbon, so you break it, and then you add X, X to one carbon and Y to the other carbon. So these type of reactions are called addition reactions. There are several uh, addition reactions which we covered in uh, VC chemistry. So the first one is the addition of hydrogen gas. So in those reactions, uh, you can convert and convert an alkene to alkane. So we look at this example given here. So this is built two in, the double bond is between the second and the third carbon. Now I break it. So after breaking the double bond, I add 
the two H atoms to each carbon, to second and the third carbon. The catalyst used is nickel. We also can use uh, platinum palladium catalyst. So in my tutes, I have list, uh, the, list all the catalysts used in each type of reaction. Okay, alkenes can also undergo addition reactions with halogens like Cl2s, Br2s. So in this addition, you break the double bond first, and then you add halogen atoms, so two Cl's to each carbon where you had the double bond. So we get then dihalo compound. So in these reactions, we can convert alkene to a dihalo alkane. The next addition is adding hydrogen halides. The compounds like HCl, HBr are called hydrogen halides. So this is butene, butene, so break the double bond. So now I add H and Cl. So you can see then we got uh, halo alkanes again. The next addition is the addition of uh, steam to make alcohols. So break the double bond in alkane. So after that, you can add the atoms across the double bond. Now what atoms or groups I'm adding? So I'm adding water. So make sure to break down first water into H and OH or as we'll say H plus and OH minus. So what I'm adding then, I'm adding H to one carbon, H to the second carbon, OH to the other carbon, right? So, or else you can do the other way. I can do OH here and H there, but in both cases, the name of the product is butane 2 all. The third type of reactions that we cover is oxidation. So there are three types of alcohols called primary, secondary, and tertiary. So when primary alcohols are oxidized, they first, under, they first become aldehydes, and then aldehyde become carboxylic acids. So we look at this example. So this is ethanol, which is a primary alcohol. So when you oxidize with um, oxidants, so H plus dichromate is an oxidant. So not only this, I can even use H plus permanganate. So acidified MnO4 minus, this is another oxidant. So when you oxidize the primary alcohol, so this is ethanol. So first it becomes an aldehyde. So it is an aldehyde with two carbons, ethanol. So further oxidation with dichromate or permanganate the aldehyde will become a carboxylic acid. So it's ethanol, now it becomes ethanoic acid. So remember not to change the number of carbon atoms in these uh, reactions. The number of carbon atoms remain the same. So what happens is the alcohol group first becomes the aldehyde, the aldehyde then becomes the carboxylic acid. The secondary alcohols can also undergo oxidation, but the product is different. Here the product is a ketone. So this is a secondary alcohol, propan 2L, propan 2-all. So when you oxidize with uh, the, uh, oxidants like dichromate or permanganate, the alcohol group becomes a ketone. The OH is on the second carbon. Now the second carbon becomes C double bond. So these kind of reactions are also oxidation. So remember the secondary alcohols are going to ketones. Then the tertiary alcohols. So we can't oxidize tertiary alcohols using uh, oxidants such as dichromate or permanganate because they are resistant to oxidation. The fourth type of reaction is condensation. So what is a condensation? In a condensation reaction, the two functional groups react together to eliminate small molecules like water. So esterification is a type of condensation reaction where you can make esters. A carboxylic acid and an alcohol is reacting together in a condensation reaction to make ester and water. So we look at this example here. So this is ethanoic acid and this is propan one all. So what happens? The OH from the carboxylic acid is reacting with H from the alcohol group. So you can, re you can remove water, OH and H is going as water. So water is the byproduct. So after that, to get the ester, you join up the two uh, molecules together. So from the carboxylic acid, the blue one, you have CH3C double O left. 
and from the red color alcohol, you join the oxygen and then the three carbons. So now you got an ester. So we look at the name of the ester. The name of the ester here is, so the oxygen is bonded to three carbons. So you call propyl and the other side with the carbonyl group, you have two carbons. So you call ethanoid. The name of ester is uh, propyl ethanoid. So you can see the carboxylic acid here is ethanoic acid. Alcohol is propanol. So ethanoic acid and propanol is given what? Propyl ethanoate ester and water. So this is a condensation reaction, which is also called esterification. So carboxylic acids can also undergo condensation with ammonia and amines to give amides. So we look at this example here. So this is uh, ethanoic acid and that's methanamine. So remove water again. So I remove OH from the carboxylic acid and H from the amine group So to, to make water. So after that, you join up the molecules. So CH3, C double O from the carboxylic acid. So then the nitrogen will join from the amine. So it's now only NH and then CH3. So this is a secondary amine Y. The nitrogen is only bonded to, is bonded to two carbon. So you call it is a secondary amine. We also can get primary amines, but in that case, we have to react the carboxylic acids with ammonia. So we'll do one example. So I'll take ethanoic acid, CH3, C double O, OH. Plus ammonia, NH3. Okay, so remove water. So remove OH from the carboxylic acid and H from the ammonia. So now what I have CH3, C double bond O, and then NH2. So now you only have two hydrogens. So this type of amides are called primary amides because the nitrogen is bonded to only one carbon, so you call it a primary amide. So this is also a condensation reaction. Then we look at the last uh, type of reaction, which is hydrolysis. So hydrolysis is the breakdown of a functional group by using water. So you can see this is ester hydrolysis where I break down the ester to a carboxylic acid and alcohol. So we know the esters are made from carboxylic acids and alcohols. So when you break down the ester, you get the corresponding carboxylic acid and the alcohol. So when you do the ester hydrolysis, you break down the ester from the ester bond, which is the C double bond O from there. So now you can see you have two sides. One side is CH3 C double bond O, the blue color side. And the other side is three carbons with oxygen. So now what happens, the water will provide OH to make this a carboxylic acid and the water will provide H here to make this an alcohol. So the ester hydrolysis then produced a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. The name of the ester here is propyl ethanoate. So then what I got, ethanoic acid and propanol. So the propyl becomes propanol, the ethan ethanoate becomes ethanoic acid. So this is called the hydrolysis. So these are the five uh, reactions that we learned uh, in VC chemistry under reaction uh, types of reactions. So now uh, you can revise uh, my tute. So please go through everything in the tute and then answer the questions from your study guide. So in VC chemistry three and four study guide on page number 100 to 109, you can find uh, reactions of organic compounds questions. So please do them. And if you need further information, regarding our tutoring or, or my publications, uh, VC publications, you can visit my website on www.rushchem.com. Thank you.